Hi everyone, uh, during this tutorial we're going to cover the work of Tristan Eaton as our starting point and using a picture of a building and our other photographs to create a collage uh, onto uh, a building. So initially I've got my picture that we've got from Blackpool Tower uh, open. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. You can see the shortcut here is W on your keyboard. I'm going to select uh, part of the tower that I want to be in my collage so you can use a quick cut selection tool and select all the building i'm going to use the right bracket to make my brush a little bit bigger to make the selection a bit quicker and reduce the size of it as we get towards the top of the tower Now you may need to zoom in to make sure your selection is as neat and tidy as you can be to make sure your selection is pretty perfect. Once you're happy with your selection, I'm just going to take off the scaffolding and then just make sure it's level towards the bottom. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, once you've got your selection, this is where we're going to cover your selection with um, pictures that you've taken from around Blackpool. Once you've got your selection, we're going to add a new layer. So that's down here, this little picture that looks like a post-it note. And within this new layer, we're going to fill it with a solid colour. So any colour you like, we're going to fill that shape. Okay. So now we've got this shape, we're going to go to select and deselect, or on your keyboard, control and D. So now we've got an outline of a solid colour of Blackpool Tower. We're now going to create a series of um, templates for our photographs to go into. So just like Tristan Eaton's work, uh, we're going to have lots of sort of splashes of images. So I'm going to literally draw as if it's been torn away lots of clipped pictures or lots of clipped shapes of any random shape and size and then just fill that with a different colour. Each one can be overlapped. So I'm literally just drawing any shape I want and filling each shape with a different colour. And then using the paint bucket tool over here just to fill that shape. So you can do that the whole way down the tower. So you use a quick selection tool, choose a different colour, use the paint bucket and fill it. Now I'm going to go down here. Any random shapes, just make sure you fill it with a different colour. Quick fill. And each of these colours we're going to fill with a picture or a photograph that we've taken and just move that I'm going to select and deselect quick selection tool again okay this is going to be a space for a large picture choose a different color paint bucket tool and fill that now here I've just missed off a little bit of that so I'm just going to click on there to fill it in to make it part of that image. Again, quick selection tool. Choose a different colour from the previous. Paint bucket, fill it. Control and D to deselect to stop these marching ants and sort of fill that. It's not really big enough to have a picture in there. And the same again. Lots of sort of random shapes next to each other. Keep on filling them in. Remember, each of these random shapes is going to hold a different photograph. Now I've chosen Blackpool Tower, so all my pictures are going to be related to Blackpool. You might choose something completely different. I have some larger pictures towards the bottom. Remember to control and D to deselect. Mm -hmm. 
as long as your colours are different to the one previous then use your paint bucket it won't have a problem filling that shape in I'm going to leave that one there, Control and D. So now we've got our outline. Each of these different shapes are going to have a different colour in. So now to put your pictures in. First of all, we need to have a picture open. Let's just zoom out. OK, I'm going to either use the uh, lasso tool and you can draw any random shape around part of your image. Or you can use a quick selection tool, sorry, the marquee tool here, the rectangular tool. Once you've made a selection, you're going to go to Control and C, Edit and Copy, and then go back to your image. Use the magic one tool here, select on the shape you want to have your picture, and then go to Edit, Paste, sorry, Edit paste special and paste into and you'll see part of your image has gone into there now obviously this is far too big to be able to see I need no fear so I'm going to use the cursor here and I'm going to resize that image so I can see a little bit more of that tower and the amusements and maybe just have that part in there OK, we go through the same process again, open up another picture. This time, rather than a squiggle, I'm going to just use the rectangular tool. In fact, I'm going to have that. Edit and copy, go back to your picture, use the magic wand tool. Oh, if you see this come up, it's because you're not on the right layer. You need to go back to layer 1, Control and D and D select. Select where you should be, edit, paste special, and paste into. And your picture will be pasted into it. Remember, you need to use the cursor to rotate and resize, holding down shift. And a tick to finish that. I'm just going to pause this video and continue doing that. Here you can see my final image. If you click on the eye tool here, it will then hide all of your colours of your background, and then you can then make any adjustments from the adjustment layers. If you go to File and Save As and Save Your Work, your then work is now done. Well done.